AI team. Um, today we're looking at standard form, among other things. Um, so uh, just going to try and plot through it because there's a couple of bits you need to know before you can sort through the standard form bit. And they are powers of 10. So first off, because we need to know all about these, you'll be familiar, I'm sure, with 10 to the power of 2 and 10 or 10 cubed, sorry, 10 squared, 10 cubed, 10 to the power of 4, etc. So 10 squared obviously means 10 times 10, okay, which is 100. 10 cubed means 10 times 10 times 10, which is 1,000. And this means 10 to, uh, times 10 times 10 times 10, which equals 10,000. Now a little shortcut for this is that you'll notice there are this the number four here, and there are four zeros. Number three here and three zeros. Number two here and two zeros. But this is only a shortcut for once you're confident with this. If you're not confident with this, whenever whenever this comes up, write it out in full and work it out. Okay, it's just a shortcut for once you are confident. Um, you may not know, but when we've got a number to the power of one, then it is just it. 10 to the power of one equals just 10. Now, 10 to the power of zero or five to the power of zero or uh, eight to the power of zero or 127 to the power of zero. They're all the same and they are all one. Anything to the power of zero is one, okay? Doesn't matter what it is, anything to the power of zero is one. So then we go into the negatives, which may be new for you. Now, what this means is, is it is one over 10 to the power of one. Okay, so basically the negative power, we'll write that down, please. Negative part, let's call it the negative part of the power in brackets, index. That's where we get the I in bid mass from. This is an index and plural is indices. Um, so the negative part of the index means one over. It's probably a nicer way of referring to it, but you understand what that means. One over, one over ten. Um, now the the other number bit stays the same. So one over, we know that ten to the power of one is ten, so this is one tenth. Okay, and it's always useful to think of that as a decimal, 0 0.1. And again, just very quickly, you'll notice a quick pattern here. Ten to the power of negative two equals one over ten squared, or ten to the power of two which we know is 100, so it's 1 over 100, 100th, which is 0 0.01. I can just draw your attention. You'll see the pattern and that pattern just continues. But if you think about your place value columns, you've got ones and you've got tens, and then you've got tenths and you've got hundredths, etc. So literally, if we had the number that was uh, one in this column and zero there and zero there, we'd need our place values. This is one hundredth. That's what we'd refer to. It wouldn't be. We'd say this is one hundredth. Or if we had 0 0.3, this would be three tenths. So literally, that means three over ten. And this is one hundredth. So that means one over one hundred. So it's not too far removed from what we already know. But it's just really useful to get used to uh, understanding that. Or knowing it without really thinking. Uh, I'm going to have to move slightly sideways here. 10 to the power of negative 3 is the same as or is 1 over 10 cubed, which is 1 over 1,000 or 1,000th, 1, which is 0 0.001. Uh, I won't keep going. Um, that's probably enough for you to spot the pattern now. Um, useful way to think of it again but i would probably because this might be a bit new to you or you've certainly forgotten um i would suggest you go through these stages to work it out but if you look here again we've got one and we've got one zero but this is slightly confusing it includes the zero in the ones column okay so just be careful of that and that's where i think you might get confused 
i.e., you might, or e.g., you might think that 10 to the power of min minus 1, well, it's got 1, 0, so 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. But you've got to include that 0, okay, so that would be 10 to the power of minus 2. So just be careful with that. Again, it's a shortcut, and we shouldn't be using shortcuts until you're confident, so um, by all means, just don't. 10 to the power of negative 3, three zeros. OK, so it can be useful. So you could spot straight away. Uh, well, 10 to the power of negative 9 is going to be 1, 0, and then 8 zeros. So 9 in total. It's in the way. 4, 8, 9, and 1. OK, 9 there, so it's 9 zeros in total, including the 0 in the 1s column. So that speeds things up a little. Then down, please, of course. Doo -doo -doo. So the first few questions you're going to get are questions such as uh, convert convert to uh, how do they word it? Index form using so there's been I there powers of ten. So I don't necessarily need to give you questions because I'm going to give you some questions in a sec. Um, so th something like a thousand and then something like uh, 10 million. Let's make a big leap there because once you understand the bit before, it should be uh, fairly straightforward. Um, and then 0 0.004. Good. So pause the video, have a go at those. So it is 10 to the power of the number of zeros, three. Or well, it's 10 times 10 times 10. This one. If it's ever a million, then it's six. So if it's tens of million, it's seven. It's ten to the power of seven. This one, if we remember, we include this zero, three zeros, ten to the power of negative three. Okay. I would like you to do uh, Hegarty Maths Task One Two One. Please pause the video and do Hegarty Task One Two One. Ooh, hang on. Now hold that thought. You might not. We might not have covered everything. Um, some other uh, other questions. These ones we're just going to convert the other way. Uh, minus uh, six. Good. So pause the video and uh, have a go at those. So this is going to be one and five zeros. This is going to be six zeros, including that first zero. Oops, and then one. OK. Nice. Now, standard form. Standard form is used for when we've got absolutely huge numbers or we have very small numbers. So what we have is a number like 300 million meters per second. OK, that is the speed of light. Three times. Oops, I okay, nearly gave away the answer. 300 million meters per second is how fast light travels, incredibly fast. Um, and what we often don't want to be doing, I mean, if you're comparing, uh, right, that's the speed of that, and then you've got a speed of two, four, three, two, one. Um, sometimes numbers aren't that easy to compare when they are just written out in full. Um, that one looks OK because we've got them in columns and we've got the commas, etc. But what is a much way e easier, clearer and better way of um, comparing values when they're massive or very small is to convert them into standard form. Now, standard form means you have a number times 10 to a number. OK, now this is a number. Uh, 
Um, So, the easiest thing for me to do is be to express it as an inequality here, but uh, I didn't want, in case you've forgotten how to do inequalities, to get held up on that. We need a number in here between 1 and 9.9999999. So it could be, um, e.g., 4, or uh, 5.927, or uh, 9.19 okay going up in this box here okay so basically you will have something probably point to some other digits you may not as we won't have in this example but this is what you're looking at just one digit in the ones column and it cannot be a zero so it's between one and um just just shy of 10 basically so what we do is we take the three we put that in there okay then what we're going to do is we're going to work out what we need to multiply that by to get 10 to the power oh, sorry to multiply 3 by to get 300 million so again if you remember from before we can take the number in here is the uh, number of in this example it's zeros but it's better to think of it as places after the first number so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 okay and that is this number this ordinary number in standard form 3 times 10 to the 8 um, so this is could be any whole number really uh, I don't think I'll put any because it's not any depends on the question a whole number could be negative, of course. There you go, but I'll do a few examples. Don't panic. So, could you copy, pause the video and copy that down, please? So, we'll do a few going that way. So, question one. 389, two. Uh, four, one, two, oh, 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 uh, three, six, nine, two, oh, eight. And then we'll do some small ones. Naught point seven, um, five, naught point naught naught, good one, eight, oh, one. So, pause the video and have a go. But these are just practice questions, so we'll do them together. Right, so first of all, we've got to find this number up the front here, okay? This one. So it has to have a single digit before the decimal point. So it'll be something point something something. So we're going to take the three. It'll be 3.89, okay? That's what I mean by only one digit before the decimal point. 3.89, and then we work out what's the power of 10 going to be. Well, if I did this times 10 to the power 1, it'd be 38.9. So it's going to be 10 to the power 2, 389. One, two digits after the first digit, OK? One, two. So if it's 300, you'd probably know, right, it's two zeros. But they're not always going to be zeros. Most frequently not, probably. But it's the number of columns, the place value columns after that first digit. So two. So hopefully straight away we can spot, OK, this is going to be 4.12. We don't need those zeros now. They're no longer place value, placeholders because it's 4.12. We've changed it. Um, and then times 10 to the what? Well, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This one, 6.9208 times 10 to the what? 1, 2, 3, 4. 